He is known for discovering energy quanta, which earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1918. He is recognized for revolutionizing our understanding of atomic and subatomic processes through his role as the originator of quantum theory. His name is Max Planck. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, amidst the enigmatic mysteries of the universe, one man emerged as a guiding light, forever changing the course of human understanding. His name was Max Planck, a German theoretical physicist whose brilliance would reshape the very foundation of physics. Born on April 23, 1858, Max Planck's insatiable curiosity led him on a lifelong quest for knowledge. As a young boy, he displayed an exceptional eagerness for learning, driven by a thirst to unravel the secrets of the universe. Encouraged by his parents, he delved into the depths of various schools of philosophy and art, nurturing a broad-mindedness that would shape his unique perspective. It was in the realm of theoretical physics that Planck would leave an indelible mark. His groundbreaking discovery of energy quanta, the fundamental building blocks of the universe, earned him the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physics in 1918. Yet, his true fame lay in his role as the progenitor of quantum theory, a revolutionary concept that shattered conventional wisdom and forever altered our understanding of atomic and subatomic processes. Quantum theory, as envisioned by Planck, revealed a hitherto unseen world, where particles danced in a delicate interplay of probabilities and uncertainties. It challenged the very fabric of reality, introducing a new paradigm that defied the classical laws of physics. With his profound insights, Planck unlocked the door to a realm of infinite possibilities, forever changing our perception of the universe. His contributions did not end there. In 1948, in honor of his monumental achievements, the German scientific institution Kaiser Wilhelm Society was renamed the Max Planck Society. Today, this prestigious society encompasses 83 institutions, spanning a wide range of scientific disciplines, a testament to the enduring legacy of Max Planck. Max Planck's journey was not merely one of scientific discovery, it was a testament to the power of human curiosity and the boundless potential of the human mind. Through his tireless pursuit of knowledge, he not only revolutionized physics but also ignited a spark within generations of thinkers and learners. He exemplified the interconnectedness of art, philosophy, and spirituality, reminding us that our understanding of the universe is intricately woven with the fabric of our own consciousness. As we embark on a voyage of exploration into the life and mind of Max Planck, we are invited to witness the unfolding of a remarkable story, a tale of passion and discovery that continues to inspire and challenge our perception of reality. Join us, as we delve into the depths of quantum theory and the profound philosophical concepts it encompasses, guided by the visionary genius of Max Planck himself. Max Planck, born in 1858 in Kiel, Germany, came from an esteemed family of academics. His father was a law professor, and his paternal grandfathers were theology professors. Growing up, Planck showed a strong aptitude for music, playing multiple instruments and composing songs. However, his true passion lay in physics. When Planck expressed his desire to study physics, his advisor, Philip von Jolly, cautioned him against it, claiming that the field had already discovered almost everything. But Planck had a different perspective. He didn't seek to make groundbreaking discoveries, instead, he wanted to understand the known fundamentals of physics. With this mindset, Planck began his studies in 1874 at the University of Munich. Under Jolly's guidance, he conducted experiments on the diffusion of hydrogen through heated platinum. However, he soon realized that his true calling lay in theoretical physics. In 1877, Planck traveled to Berlin to study with renowned physicists Hermann von Helmholtz and Gustav Kirchhoff, as well as mathematician Karl Weierstrass. He found Helmholtz's lectures uninspiring, as he often spoke slowly and miscalculated, while Kirchhoff's presentations were dry and monotonous. Nonetheless, Planck developed a close friendship with Helmholtz. During his time in Berlin, Planck immersed himself in the writings of Clausius, which led him to choose thermodynamics as his area of specialization. In 1879, he defended his dissertation, focusing on the second law of thermodynamics. Planck briefly taught mathematics and physics at his former school in Munich before obtaining his doctorate and habilitation degrees. By 1880, Planck had achieved the highest academic accolades in Europe. He proved that even in a field where much had been discovered, there were still gaps to fill and a deeper understanding to be gained. Planck's philosophy of seeking knowledge and understanding, rather than solely pursuing groundbreaking discoveries, continues to be relevant today. Max Planck, a renowned physicist known for his groundbreaking work in the field of quantum theory, once stated, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. These words echoed the profound impact that his academic career had on not only his own life but also on the world of physics. 
From his early struggles to his eventual rise to prominence, Planck's journey was one of perseverance and groundbreaking discoveries. After completing his habilitation thesis, Planck found himself as an unpaid privatdozent in Munich, awaiting an academic position. Initially overlooked by the academic community, he delved deeper into the realm of heat theory, unknowingly stumbling upon the same thermodynamical formalism as Gibbs. It was Clausius's ideas on entropy that played a pivotal role in his work, driving him forward. In 1885, the University of Kiel recognized Planck's brilliance and appointed him as an associate professor of theoretical physics. His focus on entropy and its application in physical chemistry led to significant contributions to the field. In 1897, he published his treatise on thermodynamics, proposing a thermodynamic foundation for Svante Arrhenius's theory of electrolytic dissociation. Planck's reputation continued to grow, and in 1889, he was chosen as the successor to Kirchhoff's position at the Friedrich Wilhelms Universität in Berlin. This appointment, secured possibly through the support of Helmholtz, marked a turning point in Planck's career. By 1892, he had risen to the rank of full professor, solidifying his place among the scientific elite. In 1907, an opportunity arose for Planck to take Boltzmann's position in Vienna, but he declined, choosing instead to remain in Berlin. However, his influence extended beyond Germany's borders when, in 1909, he was invited to deliver a series of lectures on theoretical physics at Columbia University in New York City. These lectures were later translated and co-published, spreading his profound insights to a wider audience. Planck's remarkable career came to a close when he retired from the University of Berlin in 1926, passing the torch to the next generation of physicists, including the brilliant Erwin Schrödinger. Yet, his legacy as a pioneer in quantum theory and his unwavering dedication to scientific exploration continue to shape our understanding of the universe. Max Planck, renowned physicist and pioneer of quantum theory, dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. But amidst his groundbreaking scientific pursuits, Planck also experienced profound joys and sorrows in his personal life. In 1887, Planck married Marie Merck, the sister of a school friend, and together they built a life in Kiel. They were blessed with four children, Carl, and twins Emma and Greta, and Erwin. Life in their sublet apartment was filled with love, laughter, and the joy of raising a family. As Planck's career flourished, the family moved to a villa in Berlin Grunewald. Their home became a hub for intellectual and scientific discussions, attracting the likes of Albert Einstein, Otto Hahn, and Lise Meitner. Amidst their scientific pursuits, the Planck family found solace in the shared love for music, a tradition inherited from the home of Hermann von Helmholtz. However, tragedy struck in 1909 when Marie Planck passed away, possibly due to tuberculosis. Despite his grief, Planck found love again and married Marga von Hoesland in 1911. Their union brought them a son named Hermann, adding to the family's joy and resilience in the face of adversity. The First World War brought further heartache to the Planck family. Erwin, Planck's second son, was taken prisoner by the French in 1914. Tragically, Karl, his eldest son, lost his life in battle at Verdun. In 1917, Greta also passed away while giving birth, and her sister suffered the same fate two years later after marrying Greta's widower. Despite these devastating losses, Planck remained steadfast and stoic. In 1945, the horrors of war struck the Planck family once again when Erwin was sentenced to death for his involvement in the failed attempt to assassinate Hitler. On January 23, 1945, Erwin was executed, leaving Max Planck to bear the weight of yet another unbearable loss. Through the joys and sorrows of his personal life, Max Planck's unwavering dedication to his scientific pursuits remained a guiding force. His ability to endure and find strength amidst tragedy serves as an inspiration to us all, reminding us of the resilience of the human spirit. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.